Hi guys, this is 100DD33 here, and I've been asked several times, where is there a good whitetail spot? We're out here on Whiteheart Island, and I'm going to show you my favorite spot for whitetails. So how I actually found this spot is I do a lot of coyote drives here, and through doing coyote drives, I managed to harvest 196 scoring whitetail buck, and also 192 scoring whitetail buck and several 170s and 160s so there's a lot of huge bucks in this area and now I'm going to show you how all right so I like to have my tent um, at least like 200 meters away from where my stand is at that way all the animals at my stand won't be interfered by my spawn point so here I have my stand at x negative 14764 and y 7640 and this is kind of my setup I have a stand I, I usually go from this stand and I kind of like work my way around in sort of like a octagon uh, shape here so that's kind of how I do it I just go from stand to stand to stand and eventually I'll work my way back because towards the end of the hunt all the animals that were here and spooked away um, by the time I'm over here new animals will be moving in and new animals will be spawning in this area so it kind of is like a consistent uh, little spot here where you can just keep hitting this pretty hard I've killed big bucks here here and here and also here so all the all these areas here are telling you one thing that this area is really good for whitetails now, I like to start my hunts at 5 a.m., sometimes 6 a.m., but mostly I try and start at 5 a.m. All right, guys, so we're just getting to our first stand now, and we're looking around here, and there's tracks all over the place. So I want to see. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That's a max weight whitetail buck track right underneath our tree stand. So I'll show you where we're at at the map. So the coordinates are X negative one four nine zero four and Y seven four zero eight. That's why I like this spot. So if you look, it's pretty much like an open field here, and you can see all the way around you, and also the pond is right there. So the road goes right along the side of you. And this is my stand right here. Oh, so we have a doe coming. So I want to I want to get up in the stand here and because I we have a doe coming pretty pretty close by, so I want to be careful for her. But that's pretty cool, a max weight buck track right underneath our tree stand. And it looks like there's some more tracks over there. Oh, guys, we got a grunt. All right, so we got a buck coming in right now. He grunted somewhere by the road over here. So that's a totally different buck. That means we have two bucks here. Let's see if we can get an eye on him somewhere. It's hard to see right now. But he should be somewhere down, down. Oh, there he is right there. So he looks like a pretty decent one, actually. Yeah, he looks like about a 120s. Now, I don't think this is the same one that we have tracks of him. Let's see if we can get a weight on him. So this one weighs 70 to 80 kgs, and the track that I had was 85 to 100 kgs. So that means there's another big buck, or there's a bigger buck somewhere nearby. Yeah, here he comes. So he's an 8-pointer.
but as much as you guys probably want to shoot a buck like this, don't shoot him right away. Make sure you look around and make sure that there's not a big buck coming. Because many times you'll have a nice buck like this coming in and you'll get re ready to take a shot and all excited. And right when you shoot, just off in the distance, you'll see a monster 170 plus running away. And that's because you took a shot at a decent buck instead of waiting for a huge buck to come. Or when you shot the decent buck, uh, you didn't make sure that there was no other bucks around. Because you can shoot these bucks for sure. But just make sure... Just like that. Just like that, guys. Did you hear what I just said? Look at that. Another buck just grunted right there. Right on this road. So, as much as I want to shoot this one, I want to make dang sure that this buck here... Look at that. A monster non-typical. You gotta be kidding me. A non-typical buck is coming in right now. No way. Wow. So look at that, this buck here, I can't see him right now, but he's underneath me. Anyways, I would have shot him and this non-typical would have spooked and I never would have saw him. Never would have saw him. Look at that. That's a cool non-tip right there. That is a cool non-tip. And we have a doe coming. Now, there's also another big buck somewhere as well. Because this isn't even the same weight as the one that I had tracks on. 85 to 100 is the weight that I had on that one. So, what I want to do is I want to take him out with my pulser. Because I don't want him to spook towards the other buck. Which potentially could be a big one as well. So, let's see here. So, this one's a non-tip. Alright, let's take him out. So we dropped him. Oh, perfect. Perfect. And the buck ran this way. Perfect. So, there could be another big buck somewhere over here. I had his track. And he's really, really heavy. So he should be somewhere nearby. But first, I think I want to hop down and take a look at this non-typical. I believe this is the first non-typical whitetail I shot this season. Haven't really seen any lately. So there he is. He's got a pretty cool rack on him. Let's pick him up. So he scores 172.4 and we got a heart shot on him. Awesome. You could hear the coyote calling in the background there. But um... I actually don't have my coyote call. And you could definitely bring your coyote call here. It's a, it's a good idea. But at the same time, you want to be careful that you're not shooting at coyotes while you potentially could have a non-typical come in like this. I mean, it could be just a, a big buck in general. So you don't want to be shooting at coyotes when you have big bucks in the area. But I think that'll do. Yeah, that's a pretty cool picture. Pretty cool picture. All right. So we're gonna hop back up in the stand now and wait for this other buck to come in. All right, so I wanted to show you, um, right here's the stand that we were just at and we're heading to this other stand here now. But right here's where the coyote called and you can see there's a whole pack of coyotes here. Just a bunch of them. So the good thing about this setup here is you can hunt. Look at that. We got a buck. We got a buck grunt, guys. So I don't know if we're going to get in a stand on this one. I, I don't know if we're going to. I think we're just going to try and call him in. Very interesting. He called right here, but yet he didn't come in towards the stand. 
So yeah, I think I'm going to call him from here and get to that tree. He called like right there. But anyways, this setup here is a really good setup for coyotes also. If you just want to kind of do the same thing, start out at each stand and work your way around, eventually you're going to find the pack of coyotes. And also you're going to find big whitetails. So guys, a bull elk just called right on the stand that we're heading to. So as soon as this white tail shows up, we should be able to head over to that stand and have some action. I'm surprised this buck's not coming yet. I don't think he can smell us. No, I don't think so. The only thing I can think of is maybe he smelled us. A lot of times if it's a big buck, they can smell you from far away. So yeah, he should have been like right here. Yeah, this should be his track here. See, we were on his track, but then that bull out called. So that's why I don't have it lit up right now. But this is definitely his track. So we'll see what we have here. Ooh, that's a big buck track right there. So either that buck spooked and smelled us. Or it's still close by. Or... He just didn't come in. He completely ignored us. Nope, look at that. He spooked. Guys, that thing spooked 10 minutes ago. That This is probably, this definitely has potential to be a big buck. Wow. I checked the wind. The wind wasn't even blowing this way. I mean, it sort of was blowing in this direction, but not very much so it was more so blowing uh, a bit to the south southeast but look at where he's heading to kind of right back to this tree stand here so I'm wondering if maybe we could be able to get in the tree stand I'd like to be able to get him to grunt so we can find out somewhere about where he's at He shouldn't be too far. Problem is, he can probably see me, but I can't see him. It's so... Oh, there we go. So we just got him to grunt. Way out there. He's almost to my other tree stand over there. So I wonder if we can get him to come in. Or if he's kind of going to keep trotting off in the distance. So the wind is right at him. That was a doe. We just spooked a doe right towards him. Unfortunately. Probably going to spook him. But I don't know. There's a chance it didn't spook it, but also a really good chance it did. Oh yeah, she ran right through here. There's no way that if he's big that he didn't spook. There's just no way. But, I always gotta check to make sure he's not coming in or something. Yeah, I'm sure he spooked big time. The good thing is, we might be able to get my stand that I have set up over here and call him in. Depending on which way he spooked. He should have spooked kind of off to the right in this direction here. Yeah, there's the track. This is the track that he grunted on right here. 
So I'm thinking he should have spooked towards this uh, river over here. And oh wait, no. He might not have spooked. He might have kept roaming. But either way, he was definitely going this way. And I have a few stands set up here. Yep. Stand right there. I mean, there's a track right there. And to me, it looks like he just kept roaming. It looks like he ignored my call. And by the time that doe came by here, she did not spook our buck. Oh my god, right there he is! He's huge! That thing's 180 plus. Okay, so he just ran off that way. I'm trying to get a look at him. There, there he is right there. Look at the size of that thing. 150 to 175. He's like 20 inches wide. Oh my god, that's a giant. Okay, so he was headed. Is that him right? No. So he's headed this way. I think we might be able to get into my stand and wait for him to calm down and call him in. We're going to stay tight to the woods here. We don't want to spook him. That thing is so wide. That's an awesome buck. I really want to get him. I just can't really see in this tall grass here. These reeds are really, really tall. I have my stand not too far from here. Should give us enough time to get him to come in. The only bad thing is... Is I probably won't be able to see him. So hopefully he'll calm down and then come. I think I want to call a little bit to kind of calm him down. So he should be somewhere like right behind the stand. Or maybe he's somewhere out in the reeds. Over by my tower stand that I have set up here. So yeah, this stand I actually have set up for coyote drives. But I use it for hunting whitetails as well. It works really nice. You can see this hole opening down here. And I had some whitetail scent on me. But I think I used it up before. So unfortunately I don't have any left. But I'm thinking this buck might calm down enough to where he should come in. So I'm going to give one more grunt and try and get up in the stand, see if I can see anything. Now I won't be able to see behind me, but perhaps I can, I can see, I can see towards the tower stand. So if I can see towards the tower stand, I might be able to see him out in the reeds. So let's hop up here. See if we can see anything. So I don't see him right now. And I don't really know where he went. All I do know is that he went somewhere. Or at least I think he went somewhere on this point here. Whether he's in these reeds behind. Behind me here that I can't see him. I don't know. Well, I'll show you where we're at here. So this is a really good spot too. This is actually where I shot my 196. And my stand, here's the coordinates here, are X, negative 14520, and Y, 7208. So this should work out pretty good actually. I think we might be able to, hopefully we find this whitetail. And then after that, we can just start heading uh, this direction here. Oh my god! Oh my god, you guys! I can see him right there! I don't know if you can see him, but... Like... 
right in this direction here. I can see him in the corner of my screen. Just this monster buck. I can see points everywhere. Super wide. What a giant buck. I had a feeling he was somewhere around there. Yeah, he's definitely spooked. Majorly spooked. So... When they're spooked like that, you want to give just little grunts. Not like a, a long grunt or too many grunts. Because, I mean, sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but I've definitely had big bucks and big bulls spook because I called too much or, or too, too long of a call. So you want to make sure you give just a little grunt. That way when the spook wears off, then he'll start kind of roaming your direction. Wow, that's so cool. I'm glad we ended up catching up to this buck. And the crazy part about this buck here is this buck would have came in to the first stand that I shot that non-typical at. Had I stayed at that stand another 10 minutes longer, he would have definitely came in. Alright guys, so the buck's starting to chill out now. And... He's not exactly coming in, but he's definitely um, thinking about coming in. He's just right behind the tree is the problem. So just wait. Oh my god, look at that. You can see his rack sticking out right there. Look at that buck. Still can't get a good scoring on him. Uh, I think he's like a big 7x7 seven seven, to be honest. A huge seven by seven. If he was an eight by eight, he'd be he'd be a two hundred for sure. Look at him. Okay, there's a score on him. One fifty to one seventy five. Eighty five to ninety five kg, and that is a hundred eighty plus buck right there. Let's take a look at him. Wow, that thing is massive. All of his points are super symmetrical. So if he stops. I'll take a shot on him. Oh, don't go that way. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, he's perfect right there. Stop. Oh, he stopped. Perfect. Dropped him. Huge buck down. Wow. So if you want to know where a good spot for whitetail is, I think you found it. Let's look at the size of this buck. Wow. Alright, let's see what he scores. And he scores 169. That is a monster buck. So I'm glad I used a recurve on him. And just with that, we got two giant bucks. 169 typical. And 174 non-typical. And did you guys hear that? That was a bull elk. And we'll try and get him to call. We might be able to lure him in. All right, guys, so that bull's coming in now, and he's not very big, but that's another bull, and he is not too far behind, so we're going to make sure that we check out this bull before we shoot this first one here. Wow. And that is a big bull in the back there. Look at that. So we have a big bull coming here. Wow. Definitely 300 plus. And I was just about to shoot this small one, but I thought I might want to check to make sure there's not another one coming. And sure enough, there's a big bull coming in the back.
And yeah, like I was saying before, you'll probably recognize this spot from my Coyote Drive videos. So this is definitely a really good area. There's that bull there. Not really concerned about him. Look at a range on him there. So he's 30 there. Yeah, he's 30 meters. Pretty broadside. I'll take that shot. I think we heart shot him. Awesome. Alright, let's go see what he scores. And he scores 291. So we got a heart shot on him. So, he's definitely a nice bull. He's not 300 plus, but he's pretty close to it. So I'll definitely take a trophy shot of him. All right, now we're gonna continue on to the next stand. And just as you guys know, the same game, if you look at my stats, or the chat, you can see the 172.4 non-typical and the 169.6 typical in the same hunt in pretty much the same area too. So here we're heading to my next stand and you can see there's just a pile of coyote tracks all over the place here. So that's one of the reasons why I do a lot of coyote drives here. Because there is always coyotes here. Always. Alright guys, so we're just heading up to this next stand. And we just got a buck grunt. So he grunted like right on my dot. Now this is a pre-discovered uh, track. So we better get in the stand fast. Alright, so he grunted like right over there somewhere. So this is what this stand looks like. And here you can pretty much see the edge of this lake. And that point right over there is where a lot of animals tend to congregate. And also there's a lot of coyotes here as well. And I see the buck right now. And is it? So this is a completely different buck. This might be the first buck that we saw actually. I'm pretty sure he had. So this is the first buck that... Look at... Oh, we have two bucks here now. So we have two bucks. What's this buck here? This buck here is a, a small one, 65 to 70 kg. Yeah, I think I'm going to use the reverse draw crossbow on him. So, that didn't drop him. But I guarantee it, that was a long shot. Intestines. And we're going to track this buck and head to the next stand. Now, normally you could stay at this stand longer, but... I mean, we were just only like 150, 200 meters away, so I want to get in kind of a new area. This area's been hunted pretty hard. Apparently, there's still coyotes around here, but... Yeah, I want to get into a new area here and get to this next stand. This is the other big bull. So there's a big bull pretty close by. <laughs> Let's try and see where that thing's at. Probably down there. He's probably down there. Yup. Definitely coyotes. There's coyotes like right on top of us. So hopefully we can get around them. There. There's our bull. So I had a feeling he was close. Also our buck went this way too. 
I'm gonna try and get behind this tree. So I can keep... Jeez, there's a couple of bulls. Yeah, we got a couple of bulls here. Can't quite see. Could see one decent. Eh. Ah, they're not that big. Oh, there's a good one though. Definitely not a bad one. Yeah, he might spook. Yeah, he spooked. That's alright, I'm not really worried about him. I mean, he wasn't a bad size one. But he wasn't 300 plus. Like I wanted. So we'll get back on this buck's track here. And head over to the next stand. That was pretty cool. Those coyotes were all over, all over us. Jeez, we got another buck grunting. We got another buck already. Uh, let's see where he was at. So he's kind of over in the same direction we want to head. Well, where is this thing? There. He's not very big. I can't even see him, but I can see a spotting score on him. There he is. So he's like an 8 point. I think I'm going to crawl over here and get my deer. So I might be able to take out this buck because he's broadside right now. <sighs> Dropped him. Yeah, 114. And a pretty good shot on him too. So we're going to grab this buck that I shot from before and then we're going to head over to my stand and hopefully that other big bull comes in. I don't even know what track this is. 450 to 500. Yep, so he was liver shot. Completely liver shot. Alright guys, so we're approaching my final stand now. This is actually one of my favorite stands here in the whole group of stands that I have. And this reason is because, well there's a track right there. So it's a pretty nice opening here, but all the way around is really, really thick woods. And a lot of the big bucks and even elk and coyotes, they hide in that woods. So you can't really see them at first, but when you call, they kind of come out of the woods. And the good thing about here is when you shoot something and it spooks, it will normally run this way. So after you shoot it, eventually it will come back and it will come to you. All right, guys, so we were sitting here maybe 10 minutes and we got a big buck coming out right now. So he grunted just in the woods off to the left over here. And we gave a couple of calls, and he just showed up right now. What an awesome buck. And he's 90 to 100 kgs, so he's a pretty heavy buck. And that's why I like this spot. So it didn't seem like anything was here at first, but I sat here, gave a couple of grunts, and just like that, a buck arised. So this doe's coming in first. And it seems like he's kind of hanging back. Let's double check the wind real quick. One forty-five to one seventy score. 
but he's really symmetrical, so he's going to be like 160s probably. So right now it's 914 and we still have action going on. All right, so I think I'm going to get my pulser out and get ready to take a shot. All right, so if he stops, I'll take a shot on him. Dropped him. I think we heart shot him. I'm not really worried about these does. Well, there he is. So that's our third trophy whitetail buck in one hunt. Let's see what he scores. And he scores 157.1. We got a heart shot on him. So what a great way to end off this hunt. And that's definitely going to be the end of this video. So we'll take a cool trophy shot here, literally in the same tree that my stand is in lies this buck. So yeah, go make your own setups, come out here, put out a tent, put out a couple stands and you'll find some big bucks. Well. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.